In the Homestead off-grid world, there's a lot of discussion surrounding the north-facing slope versus the south-facing slope. But whenever I ask someone to explain the differences between the two, I just got more confused. So in today's video, I'm hopefully going to give you a good definition as well as explain the differences between the two. So let's dig into the definition. Imagine you're at the top of a summit or a hill looking into the valley. You can see the hill sloping down in front of you, but you're not sure whether this is a north-facing slope or a south-facing slope. You pull out your trusty compass and it shows the direction you're facing is south. This means that the slope in front of you is a south-facing slope. Now, don't get me wrong, slopes can face whichever direction they want, but for this example, we're just using two directions for simplicity's sake. An easy way to think about it is if I were to pour this cup of water on an incline, which way would the water flow? Whatever way the water flows is the face of the incline. Now, let's look at this in the bird's eye view on Google Maps. I'm using the topographical map so it's easier to see, and I'm using this section here because it's very clear where the peak is and where the valleys are. After all, water doesn't settle on the peaks, right? So if this is the peak and up is naturally north, that means that this section must be the north facing slope and this section must be the south facing slope. Roughly. Again, we're going for simplicity here. And I know what you're thinking. Well, that's neat and all, but what does it matter to me? Well, in the off-grid homestead world, it's often a matter of life or death. For the plants, that is. Because of the way the Earth is, the sun doesn't rise and fall in the exact east and west. It's actually a bit to the south. This means that a south-facing slope will hog the sun, and a north-facing slope will have an inverse proportion. So this means that the south side will be significantly warmer than the north, and will retain much less moisture. This also means that the south side is far superior for solar panels, as the north side might not even get sun depending on the angle of the incline. But don't get me wrong, there are definite pros and cons to both sides, but it does depend on where you are. For instance, in dry and hot environments, greenery typically grows better on the north face due to soil moisture retention and evaporation, while in places with plenty of rainfall, the south side grows faster. So depending on your location, you will have to factor that in accordingly. It's also important to note that the farther from the equator you are, the more intense the angle of the sun becomes, and the more it's affected by the seasonal axis shift. So I hope that clears things up at least a little, but if you're still confused, leave a comment below so I can help you out. Oh, and one last thing. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, all this information is backwards. Okay, thanks, bye.